Hi guys, I'm back with another video today and I have to apologize because I filmed this yesterday and the first part of um, the reveal was not recorded so that's why I have something on different and then the next part of the video that you see it will have I will have different clothes on but I'm excited to unbox this beauty for you um welcome to my channel if you're not familiar with my channel I do beauty reviews um beauty favorites fashion um videos mostly related to handbags but today I am going to unbox this item in this box so if you would like to see what's inside this box, please continue to watch. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know that um, I think it was in late November, early December, I did purchase a Palm Springs mini backpack. And I only carried that for a little bit in December, then I carried it maybe um, in February. And then I pulled it out to carry it in May, and I noticed that the zipper had pulled away from um, the top of the closure of the bag. So I took it into my local boutique and had them look at it and they sent it out for repair. And I just found out this week that it was a flaw in the back and it couldn't be repaired. So I had a credit. And if you don't know, if you send something back through a boutique that's inside of like a, a Neiman Marcus or Bloomingdale's or Saks, those Louis Vuitton boutiques cannot issue you a gift card they have to issue a store credit and you only can use it there so you only can get a gift card if it's in a freestanding store so I my boutique that I like to go to is inside of a Bloomingdale's so I had to use the credit and I tried to figure out like what I wanted to do and what I wanted to purchase and I was thinking about getting like a luggage piece or some kind of bigger piece or a niece BB and some more accessories but then I decided that I wanted I, once I saw this item that I wanted to get this because it's limited edition and some of the other things that I was looking at you can get any time so I got this and I'm excited to share that with you love the new packaging I got several pieces with the new packaging and my backpack came in like a larger flap box that I love so I'm going to use that but this bag is awesome. It's one of my favorite bags that I have in my collection. So I'm really excited to have this limited edition piece. So I'm going to show it to you. And I already have opened it up. So I've already removed the uh, authenticity packet that was inside the bag. I'll just keep it in there. And I also would keep the ribbon. I really like this ribbon. The blue is beautiful. I think I threw the other ones away. But I'm not going to do that with this. So this is the dust bag. And this is the item. I love her. She is the Pichette Matisse Mini. And I just think she's gorgeous. And I love that she has the reverse monogram. And this item is from the Fall Autumn 2017 line. It's really cute. And it's something that I already have and that I really enjoy. And that's like one of my most popular um, videos. And it is the Mini Pichette Matisse it is so cute he said that it's only what did he tell me the sales associate he said that they only made like probably 125 to 150 of these and they come in I think two colors it's like an orange color and possibly three because I saw somebody say there was a broke color broke but I didn't know if that was the orange and then this is the navy one and there's only one other video on YouTube that talks about this bag. I am really excited about this because it has the reverse monogram. And you know how much I love my reverse monogram, Pichette Matisse. I just love it. I love that it has a twist on the classic Pichette Matisse. And I just love that it's mini too. So I, they had this one in store. Like I said, this one is navy. Um, hopefully I can insert some... Um, shots of it up close in daylight for you guys because right now it might look like it's picking up black I'm not sure because I don't have a store and monitor um, but this is the first time that Louis Vuitton has made the epi leather shiny or like patent um, so that's really cool about this too and on this bag you can really see that it has um, like striations created in the epi leather I like that too it's like a tone on tone like a light blue slight light grayish blue um, um, embedded into the um, fabric or the leather and then I love the handle the handle is brown so it always almost already looks like aged 
Pachata leather. I really like, I still have the plastic on it, so I haven't carried this bag yet or not anything. And I just wanted to compare it with um, the regular size Pouchette Matisse. This, um, I love this bag. The leather on it is so soft and everything. I like that on both of these bags, the handle is, the crossbody strap is removable. But, like, on the regular push up Matisse, it has a back pocket, and on the mini, it does not. So, this, um, also, you can really tell the size. It's not that much smaller, I feel like, than the regular push up Matisse, um, only in height. It's not that much difference, um, in width to me, um, but in height, you can see that it's a lot shorter this bag also has this awesome edgy chain um that's a lock and it does lock your bag but i'm going to take it off and it opens just like the original push up matisse and the tab on the top is also epi leather this is the amazing part about this bag it has a gold chain i love it it is so heavy and it's removable so you can carry this bag like a clutch um i haven't removed it yet but this is what it looks like on the side and it's just really made really well and I just love the reverse mono this is the inside it is um reverse monogram and the other bag I think it is the traditional monogram it is the dark brown like um like on this one right here and this one, it has the reverse, so I really like that. But this is the inside. It has three pockets. The first pocket is very thin. You probably just can put like a card holder right here. And then the middle part, you can probably put your phone. It does fit an i7. Um, <laughs> i7. It does fit an iPhone 7 Plus. That's what I have in this middle pocket. And then in, with that, I can put like a um Louis Vuitton card holder or key, a key holder I can put that in there and then like some lipstick and then you probably oh, I can also put my Louis Vuitton change purse in there and then this one is the same it's about the same size as the front one but it's a little bit wider that's what it looks like inside and it's also the black microfiber lining this one um is the the original one um for this reverse monogram also has the black lining so, I really like the black lining. It feels so good. The inside tab that tells you where it's made from. And this bag is made in Italy. It was made in Italy. Um, it's black as well. So, I really love this chain. It's, it's gorgeous. And this little keychain can also fit. It's like a smaller version of the um, longer chain, the crossbody chain. You can just pop that into the first pocket. And it just hangs really nicely inside of there so that's my unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed this video on this bag so um, it is gorgeous i can't wait to carry it i love where it hits on me it hits about um to my waist which is perfect for me because i'm short but i think anybody that's tall like five six or five seven well taller than me so like if you're five seven or eight it will not um be a crossbody bag on you but, um, and another thing, for me, I guess it's because I don't have, like, sharp shoulders. I have more rounded shoulders, and I don't have high shoulders. This, um, bag, the, the chain strap does not hold on to my, um, like, if I don't have a coat on or something, it rolls off. So, it works better for me as a crossbody. Uh, I just, I just adore it. When I first saw it, I instantly was like, is that a smaller push-up Matisse? And then I asked him about it, and he pulled it down for me. And I think this was the only one they had in the store. I just think it's adorable and I cannot wait to wear it. I love that it's like really good for year round because of the pattern. And my hair is so flat because it's first day hair. So it's Tuesday hair.